vlogs about uh, elevating the fall wardrobe. So everybody knows the fall fashion classics are as basic as a pumpkin spice latte. And while we all love a pumpkin spice latte and fall has not started until Starbucks has the pumpkin spice latte on the menu, we are more of a champagne group here at the Dow House. We like our champs. So we are going to talk about how to take those pumpkin spice like wardrobe choices and elevate them and make them more glam, more defined to our personal style, uh, something that really shows who we are and what we like and how we like to dress and just constantly slaying while still celebrating the season. So if you there's a couple of different ways that the fall fashion go so there's the preppy fall fashion girl and that's the girl that you see in the plaid skirt with the white button down shirt with a cardigan on top of it some thigh high tights or thigh high boots um looking like she just walked off the set of a britney spears video as an extra we do not want to be that girl that is reserved only for Bay and playtime, living out his schoolgirl fantasies or her schoolgirl fantasies, whoever Bay may be. So, um, ways to keep that same preppy touch but elevate that style. Uh, one way to do that is you can keep the Oxford shirt. I love a button down shirt, I love a collar in the fall. It's just my favorite. It's clean, it's crisp, it's defined. Uh, just one of my favorite things. So, you can keep that Oxford shirt, but what you want to do maybe is put a cardigan over it like one of those extra large cardigans the long ones and then that kind of glams your look up and that gives you that rihanna flair but not so much that uh basic bitch flair you can do that or an oversized sweater you can still leave that oxford shirt up there and have that oversized sweater as a mini dress and you can keep your boots and keep your tights you keep your preppy style but you're elevating that look you're deviating from the preppy fall uniform um, if you're not so much attached to the shirt, but you just love those plaid skirts, um, some ways to keep the plaid skirt but not keep the basic vibe is to maybe put a like crop sweater with that skirt and in a looser, like more satin shirt underneath it that like kind of hangs down out of that sweater, or just putting an oversized sweater on top of it. So, you know, something that's like very full and lush and getting rid of the Oxford shirt but you can't keep all three. If you keep all three, you're gonna be basic. So pick one, commit to that vibe, and then take it out of the box. So you can keep the skirt, you can keep the shirt, you can keep the thighs, but you can't rock them all at once because that'll take you to basic land. And then we have the female lumberjack. That's what I like to call it, fall fashion wardrobe. And that is mom jeans and a plaid or flannel shirt and some type of sweater tied around the waist with some like biker boots or hiking boots or chunky tennis shoes and that is also uh very uniform mask and overdone and not glammed up so one of the easiest ways to keep that same lumberjack style which is super cool and hot is to remove you just want to be removing all of the pieces of the uniform you don't want to wear it all together so you can keep those mom jeans but have an earth tone top that so is buttoned down and you can keep your boots too and then you're still serving ball vibes you still have that same silhouette but it's not so much of a uniform you're not committing to a costume another way to do that is to take that plaid shirt and do an oversized plaid shirt and you can wear that plaid shirt as a full dress a mini dress you can put a sweater on top of it and you're still serving that very popular fall pattern and you're still embracing the season without looking like you're wearing a costume and then finally we have athleisure which is going nowhere which is every season it's always here but the coolest thing about fall is it gives you a lot of ways that you can go with fall um with the athleisure so nothing screams athleisure more than a tracksuit or a sweatsuit and there's a million ways to pull that off what you don't want to do is do the same thing that you've been doing all summer you don't want to have your same summer athleisure vibe go into the fall you need to 
show transition and there's multiple ways that you can show transition in athleisure one is choosing different colors i know like the neons and the bright reds and things like that they normally transition from season to season those are staple colors but maybe deviating from those colors and going into the more muted colors like the muted olive greens the muted beiges the muted wines those colors so keeping that same silhouette that you love or maybe the most flattering to you but changing the color pattern on that and then maybe introducing new things to those sweatsuits and to those jogger suits so maybe not wearing them so much as a set but adding cool shirts and tops and bottoms and shorts to them throwing jean jackets over them putting leather jackets over them just adding some edge and personal style and then finally we cannot forget, you never want to skimp on accessories. The devil is in the details and accessories are the details. And that's what makes the difference in any look that you're planning to wear is if you have accessories, if you have the right accessories, because that's what completes the look, it's the finishing touch. So in the fall, it's very easy to deviate away from accessories because everything's so busy. You got plaid and flannel and leaves and floral and those things kind of come into play in the fall so your office can get pretty busy. Um, and then you move away from accessories, but you don't want to skimp on the accessories. So keep that in mind. Don't be afraid of hats and scarves, especially the bulky scarves. Those are really cool. Those are a statement piece in itself. You literally need a basic outfit and a bulky scarf, and that's an entire look. Um, bracelets, ankle bracelets, those silkies, things like that. Uh, those are the small details that take a look from here to here. So Dows, what I want to know is what are your fall fashion staples? What is your fall wardrobe identity? Are you preppy? Are you a tomboy? Are you athletic, like athleisure type? Do you go for the lumberjack vibe, uh, like the camper vibe? Let us know. Join the conversation below. Do not forget to like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Um, or you can join the conversation on Instagram or Facebook at Porsche Porsche. That's P-O-R-S-C-H-E. P-O-R-S-H-I-A. Thanks for stopping out, Dallas. Have a great week. Have a great fall. I'll see you again on Monday.